Guys, I know I'm a bit short, but that's because we are here backstage in Paul with two of the members from Alter Sky, Anna and Amy. How are you doing today? Good! Yeah, we're good, we're good. Yes. We're raring to go. Yes. So we're here in Paul for an acoustic show to kind of promote the new album. Can you tell us a bit about that? Um, well, our album Without Wonderland is going to be coming out on the 20th of November. First album. Um, and we've decided to you know, let a select few people come and have a listen uh, with the wristbands. It's the wrist first time we've done a wristband at the event. Yeah. Which is really, really cool. So it's just, uh, just actually the album in full and you get to listen to it. So we think. <laughs> so you've chosen to pair it all as one of the singles. How did that kind of become the first single from this and what is this all about? Um, we kind of went for the most um, mainstream of the songs that we've got on the album. Uh, we thought it would be a good uh, initial single. The, the song itself is pretty much just about doing what you want to do in the end um, and making sure that no one kind of stands in the way of that um, and that people people do actually change as well. may, may not change for the better. Yes, it's the craziest thing ever. It's so weird. It's like um, we never thought in a million years it would be like be on Kerrang or anything like that. And um, Kerrang Radio and Kerrang TV. It's just you know we grew up watching Kerrang and there we are. And it's just like that didn't happen, right? <laughs> I mean, the first time I interviewed was uh, Where I Belong on Scuzz, which was years ago, so it's, it's just kind of seeing how the band's coming full circle at the minute, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, everything's kicking off, and it's just the beginning because the album's not even out yet, so today's definitely um, marking an excellent start yeah. to Altered Sky. Um, everyone who gets to hear the album today, that's what we like, I guess. Uh, you've been on tour recently as well, obviously not for the album because that's November time. Can you talk us through that and I'll touch my question uh, We were touring on the back of Very All coming out, it's called oh, the Very okay. All Tour. It was insane. Um, we had way too much fun and too many crazy quotes and things in the car. Richard crashed his, crashed his car as well, um, which I will say to the end it was his fault. Uh, Is he okay? He's fine. He's fine. No, it's the guy just went right into the back of us, um, but Richard stalled, so we were like, mm, yeah, but it was yeah, funny. Yeah, right. It was funny, but it's okay. Um, obviously, you're on tour with bands like We Are the In Crowd and all, The Wonder Years. Who would you pick as your ideal tour people to go on tour with? At the moment, At the maybe. Moment. I think someone like like Young Guns, I think, um, would be insane. Another band from Glasgow called The Kobe, and um, they're actually going on tour with Young Guns, which I'm so jealous. So jealous! But no, they deserve it, they're awesome. I really, really like them. Uh, definitely Young, Young Guns, Maui not. Someone from the UK first, I think. It would be really awesome. Yeah, definitely. If you have to grab that out to Worldwide, who would you then choose? Worldwide? I would go with something like. Amy would say yellow card. I would say yellow card. I'd say like, I want to say X Japan because that would have been insane. <laughs> but you know, I'd like someone from Japan, a band from Japan would be insane. I would think, is it One Ok Rock? Yeah, One Ok Rock. They're awesome. Is it Baby Metal's not out of the question then? Sorry? Are you saying Baby Metal's not out of the question then? Exactly. <laughs> they're, they're so cool. It'd be interesting to tell <laughs> But they've got such a show. It would just be like. I don't think I could perform after watching them because I just thought that was amazing. Actually, why would we be on after them anyway? I don't think that would be happening. <laughs> Has being a band from Glasgow been an advantage or disadvantage do you feel to the band? In many ways, uh, an advantage because we're not originally we're not from Glasgow. Uh, we moved here because this is the music scene. This is like, well, pretty much where we thought. We were going to start. Um, I was saying as a disadvantage, so I, I think you get you kind of think that if you say, "Oh, I'm a band from Glasgow," they, people can put you in a pocket and they think, "Oh, they're going to sound like this, or they're going to sound like this," um, and sometimes people are surprised. I, I don't know. I don't think it, it's too bad. I guess it, it means. Uh, oh, another advantage is we've got a Scottish accent, so when we go around, everyone's like, "You, you guys sound really weird that we have Glasgow." I don't actually have a Glaswegian accent. No. We still sound like we can Yeah, that's the real 
who would you say has influenced the band the most? Like, what other bands would you say have influenced your music? Um, I would say... Horrible to say, because I know that it's not the band's fault, but everything that happened with Lost Profits, I would say Lost Profits, um, were a huge influence on us when we were up. Best songs, really, really great, really, really great songs. Um, I would say, for myself, a bit of Avril Lavigne. Always listen to Avril Lavigne. Um, I'm trying to think of another for the guys strange it was dream theater like they're totally into their prog rock um and and then amy with her like yellow card kind of pop punk like stuff yeah blink blink when it's definitely mm. so not many bands i mean the only other band i can think of that has a female drummer is skillet so where did the idea of a female drummer kind of come about because that's something you don't see you know every day the idea but i just found him yeah, like, like, do this. <laughs> yeah we're just gonna like, you wear your drummer it's like what yeah no we had like I'd written loads of songs and, and we, we were just not even friends, like properly. We were just like, she started just following me around. I was just like, this is not But I did me on Facebook six years ago. It was funny. Yes, it was um, funny. And we were like, let's try this. So, and then when I listened to Amy actually playing, she's really good. Dude. Even back then, she's much better now. Like, um, and we were just like, we could try this. And then we got um, together in a, in a band when we were like, it was six years ago, it was. It was six years ago. It must have been. Yeah. So we just thought, let's do this. And then when we met the guys in the Sky, I just gave it to them. Right. So obviously, on your new album coming out. Another, I guess another tour coming soon for the album. What do you see in the future of Obviously, I would say in the next five years? I think we'll be writing like our third album or something, because this is just the beginning. Just yeah. the beginning. I, I definitely, I want to have. Um, Alter Sky in America, I want people to know who we are. I want to be able to go to Japan, Indonesia, tour basically the world. And I mean, five years is it's pushing it, but I think we could do it and we're not stopping. Thank well, thank you very much for the interview and I want to thank Lisa for setting it up and Matthew behind the camera filming. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one, I don't know if anyone here plays a game called Final Fantasy VII. Has anyone ever played it? I thought maybe a couple of people. Uh, there's a guy called Vincent in it and he's got this limit break in it. And he's, yeah, this is called Livewire. <laughs> Thank you.
But if you want to pre-order the album, do you want to? <laughs> because it'll be that was, a, that was a surprise one. It's gonna be out on the 20th of November without Wonderland and we are so excited. Um, if you haven't seen the artwork as well, it's like a big shark jaw, which is really, really smart. Um, so yes, I do want to say thank you so much, uh, obviously, to Jay the manager. <laughs> I can't think of a funny fact about Jay. If you want his number, he's <laughs> French, and we can give you his number after the show. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to say thanks to Lara as well. Remember, check out Lara Fullerton Photography, and remember, give her lots of chickens and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> so, and obviously to Heather, Heather um, for, for Pulp today, because this is awesome. You know, they shut the shop for us for like a good hour. So, come on, for Pulp! <laughs> Awesome. So remember guys, we are Alters guys. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, I want to thank you guys as well. It's going to be awesome if we see you again in November. Um, and you know, strangely, I don't think we've told anyone this yet. We are going, um, well, that also. And we're actually filming another music video in two weeks. So, it could be one, well, obviously one of the tracks from today. So, let's see. It will go well. So let's do this. You guys hopefully know this one, right? This is called Bury It All, and this is our new single at the moment. So remember, 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 pre order with that one minute. It's 10 pounds. We can do this, yeah. Let's sing. Let's go for it.
so much. Yeah.